What's up guys? Uh, hot Noob here. It's August 4th. Um, it's a bit windy, but uh, still waiting for the water to get down before going on, uh, continuing on building the house and whatnot. So I've been trying to get some things done outside that I will probably have to do anyways um, before the winter comes. So um, yeah, so I mean, whatever. Here I'm just building some new supports for the snow plow there or whatever. I, I bent them uh, last winter near the end so just getting around to like fixing them and whatnot just replaced a bunch of the bent bolts and whatnot um unfortunately i forgot to really pay attention to the threads and whatnot you know i was thinking about it will it work it just plopped some two nuts on um for those pipe things and then i realized one of them has to be a left hand nut so oops i'm gonna have to do those three little rod things uh, um again just chop off one end and re-weld on a left-hand nut on the side and then it should work. Um, oops, whatever. Um, I had to cut off the little nuts anyways because uh, some of them were seized and whatnot, so... Um, anyways, so I was thinking, you know, this might be a good opportunity for me to do a video or a time-lapse. I thought it would be kind of cool if I did a time-lapse on maybe cleaning up the the diesel tank that I got, or the fuel tank that I got, and then uh, painting it, because I got a bunch of uh, paints from the auction here, so, um, cost me like ten dollars really of paint to, to paint it, so I might as well do that. And here, that's what I'm going to do now. I do have to inspect it and make sure uh, I don't have to weld it. Um, I'm just going to take off the top there and whatnot. Anywho, I'm just going to do the time lapse now.
All right. So that sort of concludes it. Um, that kind of took longer than I thought it would. Uh, a little bit shorter. I don't know. About as long as I thought it would take. Maybe a little bit longer. Um, so I ended up, what I ended up doing is I went to the hardware store and I just bought um, some rust paint here or whatever. A uh, different brand than what I was using. Um, I actually looked into it and I was like wondering, well, how much paint is actually in a spray can? And it turns out it's only like 100 milliliters. So, because um, I want, I only had enough spray paint uh, from the cans to do maybe a layer. And then I have a clear coat somewhere else, but I don't think I have enough clear coat to do a layer. So, um, I ended up just going off and buying myself some of that uh, aluminum paint different brand though but uh, um, but you know when I think about it like this is probably not going to be the first time I'm painting something here especially just to protect it from rust and uh, while that little tiny can is 30 bucks I could have got a four liter for 60 bucks but I didn't want to drive all the way to uh, to the city or whatever to pick one up or whatever so I just got with, with the little one and as you can see, I used maybe maybe 100 milliliters, maybe 120 milliliters of that paint, including what I spilt, um, just spraying this. And then, of course, I didn't realize how fast it was coming out because I'm painting um, aluminum colored or silver on silver, and you base I don't see anything, especially with the mask on, so I couldn't see anything um, really applying. And then I come back and look, oops, it's dripping. So. Ignore that part, but otherwise I think it turned out pretty well. Um, I forgot to take off the cap, but you know, then when I painted it over a little bit, I was like, oh, you know what, screw it. I'll just do the cap as well. No harm, no done. So, yeah, this is what I got. I think it turned out pretty well, uh, considering. Um, so I used maybe, oh, I guess it's windy. Sorry, it's a bit windy today, but um, yeah, I figured I used maybe 10% of that small little can, so add 10% of that, which is like three or four dollars um, to the cost. So hindsight, I'm thinking, well, I should just buy big cans of that paint, and I don't think I'm going to get like spray paint has a lot of convenience. Um, I wanted to capture the setup and uh, the cleanup of the spray gun, which I bought a long time ago when I wanted to uh, paint my car. I started with the rims and, you know, whatnot. So I haven't touched a paint gun in forever. So considering things, it worked smooth enough. Um, and the paint gun, I got it, like, it was 50 bucks. And then so supporting hardware was, like, 30 bucks way back when. So you don't really have to count that as a cost, I guess. So, um... I mean, from far away, it looks good enough, so. Um, yeah, I guess I'm going to have to come up with a, a collection of that rust paint. Um, it seems pretty decent. I didn't have to thin it or anything, and it says it's sprayable. I think it's sprayed well, and from what I've seen is the moment it hits the metal, um, even if it splatters a bit, it actually just evens out on its own. So that's real nice that I like about that paint. So I think in the future, I'm going to keep going with this uh, sort of rust paint. You've, it doesn't appear to be like brand sensitive. It all kind of appears to behave the same way. So um, yeah, if I'm going to be buying old equipment, I'm definitely going to need to buy uh, this rust paint. So, But I think that little can will last quite some time. Anywho, this is Hot Noob here. Uh, please subscribe.